Okay, so the golden joystick for best role-playing game goes to Fallout New Vegas. Now, this was a slightly different approach for, for, from Fallout 3. It had a sort of more free-form storyline. I mean, do you think that's what really captured people's imagination the second time around? Yeah, definitely. I, th I think there was a lot of innovations in the game from the previous game, Fallout 3, which really worked very well. I think the setting of Vegas worked fantastically. Maybe appealed to a slightly sort of wider market out there. But uh, essentially, I mean, a lot of the main gameplay features were there still, and it's what people wanted. They wanted the same sort of thing again, done in a little bit better way, I guess. And it was a slightly different team that developed New Vegas from the team that developed Fallout 3. But actually, what people might not know is those guys have real Fallout heritage, right? They do, that's right. In fact, yeah, the, the guys, uh, some of the original guys from Interplay actually were involved in in Fallout New Vegas and, and they created the brand in the first place but there's also been a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, sort of uh, oversight on the part of Bethesda Game Studios as well so those those guys were involved in the whole process throughout the whole thing I mean you, you're juggling two huge brands now you've got the Elder Scrolls with Skyrim and you've yeah. got Fallout I mean the fans are going to want to know is there going to be more Fallout on the way well I'm going to reveal something to you now which I probably shouldn't do this is a world exclusive uh, no comment sorry same old same old cheers guys <laughs> okay take care thank you Mark. <laughs>